Hello there, ladies and gentlemen as well, everyone. Today is June 10th, 2012, and you're watching Overgrowth Weekly number 78. My name is Lucas Orsvern. I'm Anton Real. How's it going? And uh, this week, there was no alpha video, and uh, there were no big features added either. I mean, we've talked about this before, um, just can't keep doing this. It feels like it's been a period now for a while where there just have been either like no alpha video or like no new features really, or, you know, just boring times in general. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's similar to some of the earlier, um, uh, some of the earlier builds. I mean, really like early builds when it was just tech stuff and really underlying stuff. People people have sort of gotten used to in the past, uh, I would say like 50 builds, which is like a year, uh, <laughs> where it's been like there's been a lot of uh, very user level progress made. And this is back to, you know, some of the important things that need to be done on the game, which is low level things that uh, we kind of get bored. Not bored, but... They don't excite yeah, the yeah, imagination we, in we the do same get way. Bored. We do get bored, Anton. So Aaron, <laughs> Aaron just texted me. He just woke up. So Aaron will be with us shortly. Good. I'm telling. I'm going to tell him. Join us still. Yes. Exclamation points. Three. Yeah, Aaron was supposed to be on, but yeah, apparently he slept a bit longer than he <laughs> than he should have. Well, so I, I'll just take a moment while we try and wait for him to say that it's my fault because he was uh, he was hanging out with me for the past couple of days, and uh, we had some friends from Finland here, and we uh, um, had a you know bit for of e <laughs> for E three, so we were up all night like playing, uh, um, you know, playing some Overgrowth. I don't know if you guys caught it, but some of us were streaming some. Uh, multiplayer versus stuff it was a lot of fun yeah it, 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 yeah. it looked fun it sounded like a cool thing yeah so yeah so it's um, all your fault i see it's all my fault because he's all uh he's all tired and worn out and <laughs> and while he was here he kept sleeping in all morning so i think he just got used to it yeah probably mm -hmm. oh anton Oh, and also I can share this fine picture with you. I paused the stream and it ended up in, uh, you know, it looks fun. So we can take a look at that. Uh-oh, I'm scared. <laughs> no, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh, man. Anyway. I don't know either. Yeah. I don't think I want to know what I did there for a moment. <laughs> um, we should probably, like, jump into the show, though, meanwhile. Um, yeah, let's do it. We should jump on right on into the fan art watch just as usual. So let's let's do that. So first up here, we have an image <laughs> of a bunch of images. Let's take a look at this. So I actually need to do some cheese. There we go. Alright, so we have said um Eric Rumor and I want to be an artist this week who's been making some art. N not a whole lot of art once again. Not a whole lot, but some cool stuff. Yes, I think uh, I yeah. think said kind of uh, uh, weighs that up or whatever you say with uh, that one image. The top left image was like one, two, three, four characters, five characters, I guess. That's actually one image, like small images that aren't entirely finished, I guess. But uh, he kind of compiled them into one, and then it's totally worth it to show it anyway. Yeah, sure. It's nice stuff, and uh, and I want to be an artist. Is is uh, a little bit back, of course, as well, with uh, his uh, very nice <laughs> lines. I love his lines. It, it's so funny because every time that he draws something, he's like, "Ah, oh, this is such a sketch. I'm sorry. It's you know, it it feels rushed." And then, like, compared to anything that I've ever drawn in my life, it's like, it's like uh, makes me sad and never want to draw again, or else to spend like the rest of my life trying to learn to draw like he does. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you need to think about. Anton, I want to be an artist. You need to think about Anton's feeling when you when you post those things. <laughs> uh, it's 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 awesome. I love it, and I love yeah. I love seeing whale man related fan art. So um, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, 
It's cool. I, I like someone in the fan art thread was kind of like, uh, "What's that arm sticking out there? Like, what's what's that about?" If I remember correctly, <laughs> and it's like, "No, dude, can't you see the whale man? <laughs> you know, he covers like the entire image. It's kind of hard to see." <laughs> he's he's so he's he's so large that you can't learn to look at him. You're you're looking at too much detail. It's uh, yeah, you gotta be looking pretty insane. At the whole picture. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, and the Eric rumor thing, uh, he says it's a stencil. I don't quite understand how you make turn that into a stencil, but apparently you can take it out, make it into a stencil, and then spray paint it, and you get a cool thing that you can put on your whatever. Yeah. Your your trapper keeper. So it's, it's I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you stencil with. Um. So that's kind of like. Yeah, it was, they need to be like connected everywhere, don't they? Isn't that a thing with stencils, kind of? Usually, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure either, but you know, I don't quite understand. It's cool though. I I like the way that it looks, so that's nice. Yeah, I like it too. Of course, it's nice. Um, the actual image is mostly from Aubrey's uh, art thing that he did a few years ago. Uh, yep. But it looks very cool in in just uh, you know gray and white. Exactly. So nice job there, man. Nice job. Um, I guess that's the fan art watch, though. Um, so let's uh, jump on now into the uh, Angel script slash JavaScript dump by Learn More. Oh, and it looks like Aaron is joining us, so so we'll he'll, he'll be here in time anyway. That's good. Yay! It it only totally changed where I'm positioned. Bam. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we'll get back to hey, that Aaron. when when he has sound. <laughs> we'll get back. Uh, anyway, okay. uh, let's talk about this um, this script dump thing that uh, that uh, Learn More has done. Uh, so switching over mm -hmm. to the stream here again. So this is a good, this is a really good thing. Like we talked about this previously. Um, this is a really really good thing for developers we've said that like many times but since they updated it um, recently and you know this is a really really useful thing we thought that we'd kind of you know uh, cover it a bit extra this week to show a bit of love yeah so what this is is yeah let me download it here right uh, right now for you guys if there we are open it up so this is what you get you get uh, a bunch of folders you get a readme classes uh, and stuff like that. So if we jump into the script folder, for instance, let's jump into, for instance, shared underscore dump. And let's see if I can't, let's see if I can't move to new instance. There we go. Bam. So you get kind of back this list. Okay. This might not look like, uh, like anything for someone who doesn't know programming, of course. But uh, it's uh, very useful for, yeah, for those who want to script for growth. So here we have the camera, for instance. So when you make a camera, you can see here all of the things that you can actually do with a camera. You can call, you know, get facing to get the facing of the camera. You can get to the flat facing. Yeah, it just goes on and on. You have all of these. And he, so he has written a program that allows him to kind of extract this data from the overgrowth exe file. Exactly. Which is obviously very, very useful. Um, Aaron, do you, should we? Do you want to jump in there? Sure. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Okay. A, a little Hello. break here too. <laughs> like, reboot everything. Hello, Aaron. Um, Hello. How are you today? Uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to OG Weekly, Sleepyhead. <laughs> yes. Hey, so. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're just talking about the uh, script dump from uh, from uh, Learn More. Yes, so it's kind of at the moment a, uh, a stand-in for what would an actual API would be. Um, but for for, yeah, for script it's very, very nice to be able to look in and just and kind of reference through what we have available to work with yeah. um, when writing stuff. 
um, um, instead of just you know, I don't know, guessing. <laughs> exactly. That's basically <laughs> like work too well. when I started doing my scripting stuff, I just basically just wrote something and then I tried to I went to the game and see if it worked, and then it's like eh, it didn't work, so I tried something else, you know. But with this, you yeah, have, you have everything. <laughs> And this works for, he made this like work for JavaScript as well. Um, is this something that, that you guys have used for? Since it's more, you know, UI and stuff like that? Unfortunately, I really don't know much JavaScript. So I haven't looked through the, the uh, JavaScript section much. Mm -hmm. I think, I think uh, though, that Morris has. And, and Morris has been creating the mod mod, which has a, an in-game UI and, and can load mods. And... Um, we're hoping, I mean, we've talked with him and he's, he's saying that once we get to that point in some OG utilities that that will sort of, that code, which uses this script dump will eventually, um, you know, uh, uh, be the way that we load mods into the game once things are going. So it's, it's, uh, it is very useful for us in terms of our big plans. So, mm -hmm. uh, learn more has been awesome for that. Cool. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's a super duper cool stuff. Let me, let me show you the, uh, the, some JavaScript, how the JavaScript stuff looks. So we have the one for level end dot, uh, that GS. So I'm, I'm guessing this is the, uh, the dialogue window that you get when a level ends is, that's just my guess. I'm not, I haven't modded uh, or scripted for growth for a long time, so yeah. But you have hide and show, for instance, which makes sense. You want to hide and be able to hide and show the window. You can set the opacity, set a mask for the window somehow. Resize it, move it, drag it, you know, reset position. So here you have everything. This is all you need, man. All you need. Of course, some actual documentation might be good as well. But you know, this is much better than nothing, which would be what we would have uh, without this. Mm -hmm. Which was basically reference coding, just looking at what, what David had written and try to write something similar, you know, slightly different. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's not really as use useful or, or easy at all. It's, yeah, it's no, kind no, of no, funny. It, uh, in, in addition to, to, um, to, to this being very useful for modders, it actually ended up being very useful for the developers this week mm -hmm. because the... the learn more using his script dump and his other tools that are related he was actually able to figure out uh, what was causing the the major error this week for the for the build and was able to solve that kind of people Many still things. had he, he had there, there were still other issues that this week's build was kind of weird for that um but uh one of the problems. The problem with getting it started on Windows. He was able to yes. come up with a solution for it very quickly. Yeah, but using these same tools. So it, it is a, a very useful thing. So Yeah. Even the main developers have used for it. Then you know that you've done something that's uh, that's worth <laughs> that's worth something worth something. Exactly. So. so if you're scripting for overgrowth, if you're if you were making like JavaScript uh, things or you're making you know angel script things, um, you should totally download it and check it out. And if you have had use for it, uh, let him know in the thread to keep him motivated to do this. Yeah, I know that at one point he was kind of feeling like, oh, maybe it's not so useful, but we've definitely seen it being used since then. So yeah, um, he uh, I. I knew it would be the case that f the further along we, we went in the process, the more it would get used. So we'll see it more and more yeah. and it will be great. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the angel slash JavaScript dump by learn more released whenever needed. Mostly. Yeah. Every week, basically, unless there's no alpha is what I mean. <laughs> okay. Yep. So let's jump on uh, to the sum launcher alpha 2.0 by you guys. So, yeah, Aaron, <laughs> I'll let what's going I'll on. I'll let Aaron take this one. Okay, so for a while, I, I was not really happy with the code base for the Sun Launcher and how it was written, and so I had been wanting to basically go through and rewrite most all of the code. Um, and I also took that opportunity to rewrite the entire user interface, and so this is kind of the result of that. Um, and then in the last couple of weeks, with Linux support being released for Overgrowth, I decided to add Linux support to the Sun Launcher as well, um, which is still kind of a work in progress. Um, so we do want to get feedback from Linux users on that um, because I'm not exactly a Linux expert. Um, and there's a couple of things on there that are probably not exactly as, as Linux users would want it, but it does work at least on some distributions, including Fedora is what I've been testing it on. Um, and it should work for both 32 and 64-bit users and all that, all that fun stuff. But um, yeah, the new update has a new UI. 
makes it easier to change uh, graphical settings and all those other things. And so they're sorted by category, and um, we're possibly going to add more presets and things like that so it's easier for people who are new to the game to, to figure all that out. Cool. Um, on top of that, the uh, the way that it downloads things is a little cleaner. It's got just, once again, nicer UI for that stuff as well. Um, so yeah, overall, just a, kind of a refresh a little bit. Sweet, sweet. So, um, yeah. Uh, we're kind of moving on, I guess, now to to towards the integrated thing. Am I right? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I mean the the big the big next step is that, that we have to work on is how um, we do have to make the the game some communicate. Calm. Yeah, the the game has to be able to communicate with some launcher for the integrated functions to work. We can't within the game we can't uh, access the internet to download and install files. So um, we're creating our own little system where uh, from inside the game we can load things in some launcher and it some launcher then will do all the hard work of downloading files and installing them and and keeping everything in the right place so uh so yeah the, the basic cool. idea is is that we'll have a little communication protocol of sorts where the uh in-game scripts which will get written can communicate with my program which then goes you know all the heavy lifting for for anything that connects to the internet exactly so Sweet. It's 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 weird because uh, we do have to kind of work around the fact that overgrowth has certain limitations based on um, its tools like uh, um, Asomium and and things like that and sort of things that were intentionally nerfed in that program to make it you know safer for <laughs> for the end user for, for the end user so it's um it's always a little tricky but I think it's coming along great so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the new UI stuff now, and it's looking much, much better. Very nice, I have to say. Yes. It's an incredibly useful application. Like, if no one, if anyone doesn't have this yet, they really just need to get it, because it'll, it'll update your game automatically. You'll be able to manage everything much more easily and everything like that. So, very, very useful. And, of course, if you if you want to get it, you can get it through the link in the agenda there as well. Right yep. there. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, Sam launcher, it's it's incredible, man. It's a uh, huge amount of work <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> uh, I feel like it, it's kind of an important tool for the community to have. I'm before before that came out, there really wasn't an easy way that was kind of consistent, I guess, for for Windows users to to keep updated and all that. And we're hoping to add other little features here and there as well, along with the the proper mod support just to make things even easier. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and someone uh, said uh, in Joe Shadow says, uh, oh, crappy style Windows in some launcher. And that's <laughs> just because that's just the way I roll in my Windows theme. So it's just my minimal theme. UI. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, you so, if you want to see fancy pictures, go on go on the uh, some launcher post and look at all the nice Mac images that, that Johan has made for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. They look much flashier. Let's see if I can't find this so you can see how it looks for reals. <laughs> on the front post, isn't there like about the sum launcher or something like that? Let's see. I feel That's like I should know this. The main thing is that it looks better now in so, general. Uh, it's yeah. much cleaner. Uh, That's more like it. So yeah, sum launcher. I, I can't see it. Are oh, you yeah. showing it to us? <laughs> I'm showing it to me, Anton. There we go. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's nice. I'm not gonna show you guys though. <laughs> yeah, nice. it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Um, and Linux support as well, uh, which I am very happy about. So I'm hoping that should stabilize uh, quite soon. Yeah. Have you? Well, uh, has it has it worked for you, or have you not tried it yet? I have tried it. I couldn't get it to start. I, I'm not <laughs> sure what I what I like if I if I had a like thing in my head about oh that's why it doesn't start so I might it might have an idea if I try to start it again about what might be stopping it I think it might mm -hmm. be my version of Java or something I'm not sure but it should work for pretty much anything as far as I know I, but um feel free to send an error report <laughs> yeah I, I'll probably do that I don't know I just didn't su suit up to get installed Java because I apparently didn't have that for some reason and uh 
didn't work. <laughs> so, my, yeah. I'm sure you guys will, will figure it out. I'm going to send that bug report. And everything's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So, yeah. That's the Sunwash, man. Anything else you want to add? Um, I think that's probably most of it for now. I could keep your eyes open for more updates. Yeah, I'm sure those will come uh, soon. I mean, this was a full rewrite, so... Um, there it took a while, but the good news about this is that because of how it's been rewritten, adding new features shouldn't be as hard as it was before. So hopefully that means more updates more often. Yeah, sweet. Important updates more often. Yes. <laughs> not Not more updates more often like Firefox where I don't even know why <laughs> we updated. I'm on version 75 and it's like, okay, you haven't added a new feature yet. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We need useful updates. Yes. So, nice job on that. Let's jump on. Let's jump on. So that's the community segment. Let's jump into the community side note segment uh, where we start off with last and his object browser tab mod which was updated with uh, a bunch of new items. He writes he adds uh, eight new objects into the uh, the browser uh, object item into the item browser menu. Yeah. And yeah, cave objects, stuff like that. Yep. So that's really cool. Included in the menu menu mod, am I right? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Um, I'm not uh, right. I, I, Unfortunately, there was there was an issue with that where um, uh, the way that he had named the file before was um, was not uh, downloading for me. So, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll get figured out. I'm sure you guys will figure it out. It will <laughs> soon be in the main menu mod. I yes, assure you. it it will be very soon. Um, very, very soon. So soon. Very, very soon. And then we have a map uh, called Cult of the Dead Bird made by Haphazard. So um, I made a video of this level. Let's just uh, show a little bit of it uh, while I talk. It's quite a short level, uh, but it's uh, it's of pretty nice quality, I'd say. Um, if I recall correctly, this is his first level. And uh, being his first level, it's uh, quite good, actually. Like, a good level of detail, as you see in this house here, for instance. I mean, yeah, that's the kind of level of detail that you need in a house. You don't need anymore. So pure perfect uh, right there, I think. What I did have some problem with, though, was that when I was standing in certain places, I just, my FPS just dropped, like, to into the floor for no reason. I'm not sure, maybe he put loads of small objects in that position or something, so collisions were weird. But... Uh, other than that, it's a pretty cool map, man. Yep. Pretty cool map. Um, have any of you guys uh, had time to, to test this? I know you've been at E3, so, you know. Yeah, I had I had E3 this week, so I, I was pretty busy and out of it. Didn't have a lot of time for overgrowth this week. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I was working, and then, and then Anton stole me away for a couple of days. <laughs> I blame him. Anton... It looks like we're I, blaming I, Anton for everything today. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. This can be the Blame Anton show. <laughs> but I but just this one time. Yeah, What's that? There's the title, man. Thanks. I said I sent the title. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> for reals. Word. What were you going to say, Anton? I don't remember. Okay, probably. As you can see right here, though, uh, in the video, I have, like, no FPS right here. Like, this is nothing weird about this place, just a normal place, and my FPS is just gone. So, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, but anyways, a really good level by Haphazard right there. Hopefully, we'll see more from him in the future. Nice. Nice job. And that takes us out of the community side note segment and into the news segment. The news segment where we take a look at news. First up, we have a Braid Super Meat Boy and Lone Survivor added to Humble Indie Bundle 5. What do you guys have to yeah. say about this? Well, if if you didn't have a reason to buy <laughs> Humble Indie Bundle 5 before, uh, <laughs> <laughs> which I'm laughing because uh, it's only the largest selling Humble Indie Bundle ever um, at, what, almost 4.5 or $4.3 million. 
uh, yeah, it's um, it's now even more worth it with, uh, you know, Braid and Super Meat Bar, Super Meat Boy are both <laughs> games that I can highly recommend. And uh, I haven't played Lone Survivor yet, so I'm excited to to have uh, you know have another game. Yeah, I, heard so I, I may have I may have missed this earlier this morning, but it looks like the Bronies have uh, taken the lead oh, by a bit once again. Oh uh -huh, yeah, uh -oh. yeah. I looked at this um, like right before, yeah, just an hour ago or something. So it must be recent. Yeah, very recent. <laughs> we have Notch at nine 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 nine. Yeah, uh, humble Brony bundle at one one. One 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 one, so, yay bronies! <laughs> so time, but yeah, as you said, this is the fastest and most selling bundle um, ever, and it's like broken the record by a lot. I think this, the <laughs> previous record by it was like two point seven million, right dollars, something yeah. like that. Yeah, something like that. Now it's not even close. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they're hitting it out of the park with this one. Yeah. It's, oh, this is cool. Sorry. The thing is, though, like, with this bundle, will they be able to, like, will there be games that they can put in a bundle that will be able to beat this? Because, I mean, if we look at the games, um, they're all great games. Like, there is none of these games that you do not want to play, like, no matter who you are, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're very scared, you probably don't want to play Amnesia. Yeah. <laughs> Careful to not... <laughs> not play amnesia in the dark in the middle of the night uh by yourself <laughs> by yourself <laughs> you, i can't i can't do it for more than 15 minutes i, I gotta be honest <laughs> so yeah it's uh it's pretty great i'm i'm excited i i still haven't played psychonauts psychonauts in the first build that they released uh, the um, gamepad didn't work on linux but now it should work apparently so I'm gonna probably be playing some of that because I heard it's a good game. It's a very good game. I, I, yeah. A Psychonauts hasn't worked on my computer yet. There was no sound or anything, so I'm gonna have to uh, Gasp. go back and see if there's a newer build or something. Yeah. Other than that, I played almost all of the games, um, except for Psychonauts and Lone Survivor, and uh, I'm gonna play Lone Survivor as well because I heard it's good too. So, video games are good. And uh, they're in this bundle. Great so games, yay! It. Exactly. Yeah. So check so, it out, man. Humble Indie Bundle Five can't get yes. much better. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in before we move on to our next subject and ask Lucas to go click on the link that last posted in Wolffire forums because there's a new weapon mod that was released earlier this morning. Oh yeah. Earlier today. Yeah, I actually looked Overgo. at this one, and uh, I uh, forgot to add it to the agenda. Shame oh. on me. So we have <laughs> a weapon mod. It's a rock, you know. It's a rock. Yes. But it's a cool-looking rock that you hold in your hand and beat people with. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call, like, that. now we're starting to go into, like, like, this fits with the theme, right? I mean, they're animals. They're obviously primitive uh, in some fashion, right? So yes. have them fighting with rocks just makes sense. Yeah, I, I actually really like that image. Even though I only saw it just a few minutes ago, it's uh, it's very cool. It looks cool. very brutal. I, I can't wait to get this in to the game. So yeah. yes, like throwing rocks feels it feels quite overgot as well. Like if it, do you think you would add that to the game? So you you could just go to a rock area, pick up a rock, and throw at people. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, that would be cool, although I don't know how um <laughs> I don't know how I don't I don't know how well I don't I mean, I guess if they're just all little objects, little items that sit there, I guess then they would just be sitting there. Um But I don't think you could like break it off of another rock or something like that. So that would be weird. It you'd have to you'd have to be pretty specific about where you um um where you uh where you, where you put it yeah. yeah where you place them so they're not just ignored as oh hey there's just some rocks sitting there yeah or so. they could be an integral part of the game it's kind of like you know the like, integral part like they could be part like they they would be there like in uh the um what are they called hmm what are they called metal gear solid games mm -hmm. where you have like the coin sometimes you can like knock on things uh, to uh, like have people walk around could be you no know, a thing like that where you could pick up a rock and like throw it somewhere and 
the guards would be like, their oh, attention what's over distraction. here? Distraction. Yeah. Right, right. Or something like that. I mean, that would be cool. So it would be kind of like a spawner. You could pick up like an infinite amount of rocks. Like put one rock in the right pocket, one in the left pocket. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> one in each hand. <laughs> And then, and then can you also <laughs> attach them to, to enemies and weigh people down with stones and have it sink <laughs> yes. their body into the water? I, I mean, oh, A rock tying yeah, me in the game, we needed to take like a rope around the rock and then rope around his leg and, you know, physics-based. <laughs> exactly. That would be so All right. cool. So yeah, rock, rock in the oh, th throw it at people. It's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool looking mod, for sure. Absolutely. So now, can we move on now? Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So next up, David and Albert are streaming <laughs> for 7 day FPS, 7D FPS. So they're making an FPS game, uh, David and Albert of Wolfire Games, if if you didn't know. Um, they're making an FGA, FPS game uh, for 7 days and uh, they started yesterday for me. And uh, it's looking uh, pretty nice so far. Yeah. It's it's interesting. I, I actually haven't seen much of David's work, but I, I did see a a gun firing and having shells kick out of it and it was pretty cool yeah that's that's what i saw as well and it looks like uh, like aubrey is streaming uh, right now actually you can just click the link and you'll see uh oh competing stream huh <laughs> oh, competing stream yeah don't change that channel <laughs> no it's fine we'll be we'll be we'll be over here soon so after we're we're done here click that link and go and watch them stream if you're watching this in the archives on on the youtubes after one week <laughs> after this um then you know they're not still there yeah they're not still there <laughs> so i'm sorry about that but... disclaimer no lot no longer live yeah <laughs> let's switch to that so as you can see he's obviously streaming right now so check it out right after this show which this is super meta right here yeah <laughs> watching a stream on a stream also inception and uh yo dog <laughs> Yes. yes, and uh, uh, I've I've actually been working on the music for this game for them as well. I was streaming last night, and uh, um, will be streaming again later today. I have to do some real work before I uh, get back to it today, um, but I will be working on the game as well. So, um, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. Uh, yeah, you should probably have your name in there as well of course but you know i just took the name from the blog post title and that's that's what happened then yeah but yes I, I might i might just go and spam the the comments on that and be like i'm streaming too <laughs> <laughs> don't forget about anton write the text in that voice <clears throat> i'm streaming too <laughs> exactly the the voice is important yes um, <laughs> no anyway <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So check it out. I'm really interested to see what they can do here, actually, because, um, you know, um, making a game in seven days, days and it's and it's David who's doing the coding. He has made, like, um, Black Shades many, many years ago, and that was a really, really cool game. Um, that right. had guns in it. It was an FPS game. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can do now. Well, and it's also interesting because he did that tech demo for that other kind of um, run and hide uh, yeah, was that the one where he like you would run and hide and then had destructible objects and he showed off, you know, him destroying a wall and uh, with a gun and things like that. So yeah, um, he's definitely done some cool other um, tech a demo -A stuff. It's called a wall, not a cog. A wall. Thanks, yes. <laughs> um, Tonjevic also just reminded us that uh, some other community members are also doing seven day FPS games. So yes. You guys should check their games out too. Yeah, hopefully um, they're in the uh, hopefully they're in the comments of that blog post or something. Because I don't want to mention any names in case I because I just forget someone. So <laughs> you know. Yes. Yeah. People so. are making uh, FPS games. It's really interesting. Like the seven day FPS thing in general, I think is really interesting because as they say, they they say like in their video that there hasn't been a lot of innovation in the FPS genre, and I totally agree with that and. I really like FPS games personally, so it's going to be really interesting to see what people can come up with. Yes. Should be exactly. an interesting kind of week. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's the, that's the other thing that's great about the the seven-day FPS is that it's a game jam, but it's a little more than 48 hours where all you do is you get a tech demo. They're really like 
let's try and like do polished tech demos in seven days yeah. <laughs> rather than <laughs> than just a tech demo you know so it's pretty cool absolutely i'm wondering where the, like the line is there i mean because you want obviously some skilled developers like for example david and aubrey they're making this game um but like, i mean two weeks would make even better games right then they could actually get something like a real game out of it and not just a polished tech demo yeah, or six months to actually do a game, yeah. or you know, or, <laughs> or do a six month like it's the six, six month M- game jam, six M we're, FPS, we're, right? <laughs> we're gonna do a four year <laughs> tech demo, <laughs> and maybe at the end of it, we'll have a polished game. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of where I'm wondering, like, where is the limit there? Because I feel like, man, two weeks it would be even better, right? Like a real game. Yeah, but 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 two. <laughs> See, I think, okay, what's what's interesting about the 48-hour thing is that you're willing to push yourself hard for two days overnight and do long hours, whereas over seven days, I already know that none of us are working, you know, 24 hours a day for seven days to push mm-hmm. out a game. Uh, for me, I'm having to do it after my work time. You know, other people are, you know, so so you almost end up, like, in seven days, if I only work, like, four hours a day... I've spent just as much time doing that as I would have spent in a 48-hour game jam. So maybe it's not going to be any better. I'm yeah, that's not sure. True, actually, that's true. So, so we'll see. I mean, we'll see how it we goes. Should, we just want to mail some care packages to Wolf. Fire, a bunch of five-hour energy and coffee and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just don't sleep. Don't sleep. Because <laughs> I mean, if they so. don't sleep, then they can get you know, work on the game more obviously. So that's that's quite obvious. So. Sleep deprivation doesn't have any negative effects at all either. That's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. Wait, what was that chart that you were showing us, Aaron, while while we were oh, here with Frozen well, Bite? That was, that what was, was it um, called? I know it was called for the Bomber Boeing. Peak. The it's Bomber Peak. What was it called? That's 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 for alcohol content of your blood. It's called the Balmer Peak. It's on XKCD here. I'll try to grab you a link. Oh. This sounds like I, fun. I I think it's something of a joke because basically yes. it's like. The, the the more the less alcohol you have like or the more alcohol you have like it starts to go down and down and down and then like there's this weird like spike and then it comes it the, back down in the chat for the video <laughs> in the yeah. uh, oh, in the go. video chat sweet bam <laughs> <laughs> so it's a uh, programming skill versus blood alcohol concentration yes yes david should watch this <laughs> like imagine if he was able to like find a way to like stick up there and uh, you know he's david so those two things combined for seven <laughs> days in an fps that would be great yeah he would probably just drop overgrowth and start working on that game forever and everyone would be super duper happy <laughs> about yes. that i'm sure mm-hmm should be quite insane so yeah um seven day fps uh check it out man or maybe join if you if you want i mean it's uh, it's still early on in the competition is it the competition by the way or is it just game jam you must um games? i think it's a uh, i'm not sure it's something you can join the thing because it's just started so do that if you want to but uh, yeah, we should probably go now. So uh, yeah, check out ogweekly.com if you're not already there, of course. There are links at the top there to our Twitter, Steam community group, and our YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week. See you guys later. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Bye.